Okay, I think we're ready to start, so... Hello, and welcome back to Fable Freak. And... Yeah, we are leaving Ulter here. To get fried in the sun. Or get all tried in the sun. Like a reason. While we are crossing the desert. No, we don't really have to be in a hurry about that. So, Oogie. Uh, why not be done with it just so it stops messing with our eyes? It's way too bright in here. I'm here. I need help. I can't see. Help me. <laughs> Typical. You abandoned your friend. No, to I die. didn't. He's calling for you while the children spread out his heart to the sky. I can't take this right now. This world is ours. We will smother every night, every last breath, from every last mouth. You are very... Don't be worse! Over the place. Don't be here forever and ever and ever. You try to run away, but you are made of sand. You are falling apart between our fingers. I have to find out. He would have done anything for you. Now he screams alone. I never said I'm gonna fight for not even in death. Your strength of gifts ebbing. We can feel it. My brigade has been pinned down by the enemy. came after us. They just blew the entrance. Sealed us in. We spent three days in that cave. No light. No food. Just three men waiting to die in the dark. The light in your eyes offends us. Let it go out. No? Oh. Are you blind? Are you blind yet? <laughs> There's nothing left. You're gone. All gone. Still alive. The other can't be far away. Taking a nap in the sun. Typical royalty. You have me worried there for a while. Walter? Don't worry. We'll find him. You just sit tight, princess. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't it be better that you waited for me to tell you where he is while I left him? No? Okay. This sword just randomly wandering across the desert should do work. She is strong. We need to tend to the older one at once. Hang in there, Walter.
Hey, boy. You are awake. Good. My name is Kaylin, and you are in the city of Aurora. I have much to tell you. Walter? How is he? He is fortunate to be alive, but we have seen his condition before. We may be able to help him. Is there another of my friends here? I thought I saw... in the desert. A devilishly handsome soldier by the name of Ben Finn? Not dead yet, my friend. Please, come with me. Don't worry, it's a, it's a tough old nut. It'll pull through. Ow. It's so good to see you. When I was fished out of the local port and Walter and you weren't there, well, I thought it was all over. Then I realized I was being an ass, and I worked my charms to get a search party out for you. Not that Kaylin here needed much persuading. We are accustomed to misfortune. Now it is time you saw our city. It is not. It's Welcome not much. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did. Nicely said. <laughs> the being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. And I'm pretty sure we fought him in the Fable Journey as well. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side. Yeah, no, I won't defeat him. Most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we may talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on water. Well, of course we know. Um, I oh, I don't know who the other brother's you. name is. <laughs> oh, Logan. I will carry myself the strength you gave me. And I will try to lead our people as you let them. You stood against the darkness and were an example to us all. Your courage lives on in the hearts of every Aurora. I hope I will not disappoint you. Your ever-loving daughter, Kaylin. Yeah, about that. No, we can't open any doors. That's where it is. It is here. Thank you. I wish to leave a record of my survival in testament to those who did not. Last night, the crawler descended upon Aurora again. We believed ourselves to be ready. We believed we would be safe when it returned. But no one is truly safe. I watched through a window as my neighbors were torn out of their homes by those creatures. That they operate in darkness is a blessing, for I could not see what was done to them. Only hear their screams and the crawlers' laughter. And then they came to my house. The walls trembled, the floor shook. I was certain this was to be my last day. And surely it would have been, had dawn not begun to break. We are not ready for its return. We will never be ready. We will never be safe. Well, you will be safe eventually once you are all dead. I'm trying to forget the night the darkness first came. We were different people then. We each walked to our homes as daylight faded. From the port where we carried that day's bounty from the sea. From the shops where we had bought and sold food and clothes and jewelry. From the tavern where we had celebrated friendships and small triumphs. Or drank away small failures. From the temple. Where we had tended to the city's soul. Yes, we were a different people then. And we can never forget. Keep on guiding me over there. I don't want to go over there yet. 
Yes, thank you. You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues. I noticed. Always, yes, thank you. Wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. Yes. It's just my like wife that. And my daughter. What do you want? You were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Reina and Bale, you are in my thoughts always. I will be with you soon. Mm -hmm. That's another one, and I think there was one more way I came through here. So let's take that as well. Yes, 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 be quiet. It's me. I hear its voice still calling me. The crawler and the darkness it brings took my parents, my two brothers, and their wives. Yet it never takes me. It delights in taunting me with their memory. It calls me a coward. Yes, give me a second, no doggy. I have decided Just finish reading the first. Next door. I will slay the crawler or be at one with my family again. Yes, we will need those flowers later. So I may as well just pick them up. Since I can. You are in a better place now, my love. Um, For no place can be as troubled as our city um, um. has become. I know you are watching over me. I feel your presence by our bed when I sleep. And I hear your voice in my dreams. Stay with me. Always. I'm never sure where they... No, okay, port is not another. Another map. Yeah, and I remember there being a gnome. But maybe he shows up after the night's over. Nope, he's not. Uh, but I can't take out my weapon yet. So this night he lives. will get back for you once I can shoot you in your ugly face I think we've read all of those messages is dead I found more correctly there should be one more flower around here somewhere but Let's leave that for now. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan. The King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise no. that he would return with an army and save us from the crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest. Of your revolution. There are not many warriors left among us, but we have ships, and we are willing to fight beside you. Not because your brother wronged us, nor because we thirst for revenge, but because we want protection. 
We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise you must make. And Help us to rebuild Aurora and allow it to become a true part of your kingdom, not a colony. Yeah, and I'm the wrong person to ask for such promises. With a voice in your court. But I no, guess you're up to find it out yourself. Sure. Whatever you want. I promise. Then let us go to war. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle. Hmm, okay, fine, I guess. I keep looking better and better. Um, Blade spell. Oh, I like the spell. Together with the not tempest but storm? No, lightning. <laughs> You're lightning lightning spell. It's quite a nice combo. No, the darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. <coughs> what? Oh, balls to you all. You're not burying me just yet. See? I told you. Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you. you no, I'm not sorry at all. I don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I yeah. feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the queen Albion needs. So come on. <laughs> it's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. Maybe not the queen you know, that Albion needs, but the queen that place. Albion deserves. And that puts the, the people of Albion in a very bad spot. Don't you think? Alright, I've got it. I take a small group of soldiers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future queen to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. I see you've really matured on your travels. If you look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke and the fire and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. <laughs> Less chance of getting lost. Then we're agreed. Are you sure you're up to this, Walter? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired. Day hasn't come yet, and I can't charge into a good old-fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin.
I'm still having very bad feelings about that. Our people are getting torn to shreds out there. They need our help. We so need let's to go. take care of that mortar. We've already lost one ship. Kaylin's confused. Oh. Hi guys. Oh Ready? wait. Let's go. Just keep shooting the explosive barrels. Thank you. How how did they invite me out? The longer we score, the more people lose. Water please don't eat bullets. Body, please. Well, the out. We got it. The Get it there. It's getting better and better. The Aurora ship should be able to move in closer now. Come on, Kaylin, do your stuff. Into the city. Into the city we go. Are you standing next to the explosives? No. What a shame. Oh, you are so. Who's standing next? No, no. I see there are explosives. Well. Oh, there you are. I use anything besides magic and firearms. They're super effective. Why are you going all there? Freedom burning in the night for all the. <laughs> what is it, Boulder? Oh, bloody hell. Move, move! It'll take more than a grenade to finish off that old sod. Meanwhile, let's do what he says and get moving, shall we? We shall. Hey, okay, but. There should be silver key somewhere around. Oh, I think it's in the house. Thing is, you can only get this if I'm if I remember correctly. You can only get this key during the siege. Oh, anything else? No, there's nothing else. There's nothing here. Or maybe you are fixated on the dig, dig spot again. You are, he always is fixed. Always does that. No, we are going to fight. How would it take pistols to a gunfight? 
você mais me Be quiet, doggy. No. Explosive snow. That was great, really. It's wonderful. To What a shame. Say what you want about Logan's army, they really know how to make it feel good. There's no way with it. Okay, there might be some places at all. Really? Okay, I impossibly missed that. You too took your sweet time, didn't you? Through here. We're the best trained soldiers in the kingdom. On, Paige, where are you? Best trained soldiers. Oh, about bloody time. My men are taking care of the east bank, but I can't leave them out here alone. I know what they did to Swifty. That deserves a round of applause. Not really. But I get it, you want to be part of it. And I keep missing. Uh, Look, you see the treasure. Why do you have the treasure? For here? Oh! I completely forgot about that one. At least you don't have to follow my every step. We're ready. Take over the Always castle. The damn gates. What we need are explosives. But I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny crazy old man who enjoyed blowing things. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Did you see that order? Let the whole city bow to our thunder. Hang on. How did you get to the other side in the first place? Well, let's have their words, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will he be went, he went there away. through sewers, probably. Got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Alder, there's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the ground fits. Let's finish this for good. While I can still stand up on my own. Yeah, unfortunately we won't be given fight with Logan. You know that epic fight everyone was waiting for? Not happening. He just gives up. Hmm. How could they do that? How? Why? Because he's our brother? I don't care. We are half siblings at best. Shall we knock? No. Let's surprise him. Those doors were so, really poor quality. The old fool and the child who ran away. 
You finally become the woman I always wanted you to be. She's a lot more than that, and now she's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader, just another type. And I'm gonna be another one! Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Cower behind ignorance if you will, but my sister deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then. evil already. No one survives. There she is. The Queen of Albion. You've made it. Just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier, though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who can keep you organized. Let me introduce you to... Hobson. Hobson's the name, Your Majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you? may. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> that, Your Majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together Bad such him. a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial, of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. I can't draw my weapon. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful queen is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. Judge Logan, former King of Albion, set tax policy, talk to River in Barstow Industrial, and consider a proposal to rebuild the Barstow Old Quarter. Sure. I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, Your Majesty. But can I enter? Nope. I can't go there yet. Yeah, but way to the front is quite easy. Just turn right here. But what I want to do first is to show you how empty this castle is. You know, you have the whole castle at your disposal. Oh, a book. Many have sought the elixir of immortality, the secret wisdom of the ages, the hidden law that the Emerald Tablet speaks of. Few have found it, and by few I mean none, and by none I mean one, and by one I mean me, and by me I mean imply. Anyway, I have found the elixir. And now, everlasting youth is mine. At last, the ultimate dream is realized. To live for all eternity. In that time, I will ponder the greatest questions. Such as, do I stay my current age from now on? Or could I actually be younger forever? And if so, how would that age be chosen? And will my body still change according to diet and exercise? Or is there a sort of implied perfect health that goes along with the longevity? 
And what happens if I'm shot or I fall off a cliff? Can that kill me? Am I only safe from a death by natural causes? And what about fertility? Will I be able to have children 10,000 years from now? Hmm. I might actually need longer than eternity to answer this. First of, of becoming a trophy, don't get shot in the head. Hmm. Yeah, but basically we have only a couple of rooms to see in. I, they could have been so much more than that, but I guess they want to put in useless rooms. Which they did, anyway. Logan, former king of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I say is, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work. But killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate. But his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I We're against one, beheaded him. Promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true, if it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, sister. Now choose. You're dying. No, there's no other way. You can't escape punishment for what you've done, Logan. I sentence you to death. The Queen has made her decision. Logan will pay for his crimes against the people of Albion with his life. First good deed done. You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a parent. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are queen, you can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Don't worry, he will come back in around 50, 100 years or so from now. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. 
That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Oh, Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but. And I killed Logan because Logan of you. Throne, <laughs> Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare, and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler. No, nope. But understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full, unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth. But you may also choose to break those promises. To harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need. But you will be hated. This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant. As it did your brother. But I'm a hero, so I'm not gonna be over overthrown. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced. And be the hero that can stand against it. But for that 100, of course, I never I can never get 300 straight away when you get here. Okay, and magic. Mother, father, I'm gonna make you disappointed. Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could, without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, we have to be ready when it comes. You will need to raise a fortune to pay for the army we'll need. Mm, no, Option I don't. show you the treasury. And I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. If you will follow me, your majesty. Oh, how I have looked forward to this moment. Of course it is. This is it. Albion's royal treasury. The store of the kingdom's total wealth. Why is it empty? It's, well, not as um, replete as one would like, but just imagine this room shimmering with hills, valleys, and plateaus of gold. A topography of riches going all the way up to the ceiling. Oh, I can imagine it. Why it is it empty? It will require nothing less to build this army everyone is talking about. Which brings us to the second item on today's agenda, and one I'm personally very excited about. Setting the tax rate for the coming year. As you probably know, your brother was taxing the people rather heavily. And some say that this has led to poverty, starvation, and other societal ills. You have three clear choices, your majesty. One, lower the tax rate. Which one could argue would help the poor and the hungry. But oh, who cares? the treasury in a miserable state. Two, 
maintain Logan's policies. Not a popular move with the people, but moderately popular with the treasury. And three, and don't let my enthusiasm influence you in any way, raise the taxes even further. I like that. True. Many will suffer in the short term, but we will be able to protect the kingdom and run our fingertips over vast amounts of gold <laughs> in this very room. Yes. What will it be, your majesty? Raise the crate. Very well, your majesty. Ah, an arousing sight, is it not? Breathe in that gilded air. Our tax collectors have not wasted any time carrying out your wishes. Certainly some people will starve to death, but There's... it's a small price to pay for the security of our land. Exactly. If you carry on being this decisive, the treasury will soon be overflowing. Perhaps you can even take a little of the money for yourself. Wink, wink. However you decide to proceed, you should acquaint yourself with the royal ledger. It is a logbook that allows the reigning monarch to make deposits and withdrawals from the treasury. A most useful financial tool. But my, look at the time. You really ought to attend to the next item on today's agenda. Which is Stocked River Inverser Industrial. Riva has a most intriguing proposal for you in Bowerstone Industrial. Now I know you have had your differences, but it is time to put those behind you and work together. Nobody can raise money like Riva can, I assure you. I have seen to it that your appearance among the populace is well publicized. So expect a crowd. Oh, you're not gonna be cheering for much longer. We're all Just going to work in factories. Oh, happy day! Her Majesty, the Queen of Albion, graces us with her radiant presence. I knew last time we met that you would emerge victorious from such public sibling rivalry. And now, here I am, to assist you in filling your coffers till they are fit to burst. What better way to begin your reign than by reinstating one of my most successful policies? There is no greater waste than the idleness of our city's youth, but my employment scheme guarantees children of all ages will have something to occupy them whilst ensuring our factories are properly manned. That's... it's just monstrous. Don't listen to him. You promised you would end child labor. Remember that promise now. And what would you have us do with the snotty little indigents? The only way Bowerstone is going to climb out of the gutter is through education. Nothing is more important to our future than that. Turn this factory into a school. Give the children of this city the chance they never had. A school? Well, that's an original thought. Well, if you'd like to be known as a pauper monarch, then by all means, listen to her. Reaver Industries will abide by your decision. I'm a figure. We will be reopened <laughs> as it was. We need all the workers we can get. A most astute choice, Your Majesty. I shall begin the necessary modifications at once. I will never forgive you for this. Good, then After you will never forget it. Done, you're no different to Logan. Oh, I'm worse. I'm way, way worse. Opening of Riva Industries Youth Center, where we care for your young 20 hours a day, teach them valuable skills, and ensure they never ever get into trouble. Look. 
You look really cool. Thank you. You look really cool. Your are good for a silly grown up. Okay, let's go back to the front room. Really, you couldn't give me at least a horse so I can be even higher than the common people. That's well, whatever. Should I make it so that we get maximum civil civilians casualties? <laughs> that would be so evil. But that means I have to withdraw all the money at the end of the year. Awful this is. That can be done. Out of the way. You have something interesting? No, you don't. If a kingdom is failing, God, utter crap. Leave it, will ya? No, I don't care. I like how they counted that the one human life is worth one golden coin. No more, no less. Will the door be open now? Move. I will be checking them. Here, doggy, doggy. Come over here and die. Oh, I went the wrong way anyway. Ah, what rubbish! I really want to shoot them. Well, it's not like that. It's not that I can't. Ah, but even though we are the highest power in the kingdom, we still get fined for killing. It doesn't really make any sense, but whatever. I'm gonna pay my Self for killing someone. All stand to attention. Today, you will decide what is to be done with the Bowerstone Old Quarter, site of the Battle for Albion. Paige will offer her proposal. Reva shall stand against her. You may speak, Your Majesty. Our victory came at a great cost to the city. You have done little to improve the lives of your citizens since you came to power. But it's not too late to start. I ask that the old quarter be rebuilt and its former residents rehomed. You wouldn't just be helping those in great need. You'd be sending a message to your people. They're scared, Your Majesty. Let them know they can count on you. Your Majesty, the old quarter was indeed devastated by your glorious triumph, but as its name subtly implies, it was old. The cost of rebuilding the area would be a colossal waste of money, and the people who called its decrepit shambles of streets and houses their home are better off without it. Besides, one must question what they have to offer our society. Why build homes for the inept and the unskilled? I recommend you reject Paige's proposal and keep the money for more deserving endeavors. It was our actions that caused the devastation, Your Majesty. But the final decision rests with you. Oh, I know, and I'm gonna reject the proposal, of course. Now is not the time Mom. to build houses. We have other priorities. The request is denied. The Queen has reached her decision. The old quarter shall become a monument to our victory and is to be left untouched. Sanity for them. And, and do not fret. 
I shall make sure there is no negative publicity attached to your decision. You have turned your back on those who need you the most. I wonder if anything has really changed since we overthrew your brother. No, I would say it was a perfectly fine day. Despite the heartless demands of the greedy few, we are proud to announce that the historic site of Bowerstone Old Quarter will forever be preserved as a monument to this city's greatest triumph. Join me, Reaver, in saluting our proud heritage. What's Is next? Is there a more beautiful spectacle than a big pile of gold? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me the rhetorical question. In any case, we are certainly doing well, but we are still short of the target. As a matter of fact, our very first order of business might have a bearing on our financial situation. The time has come to decide the annual town guard budget. As you can imagine, the people like to complain about crime and the lack of safety on our streets, and are calling for more guards than your brother was ever willing to pay for. You have three choices, Your Majesty. Leave the budget as it is. After all, the people have grown accustomed to murder, theft, and contraband. Increase the budget and fill the streets with soldiers keeping the peace. A rather costly solution. Or take a more considered approach by lowering the budget. <laughs> For what is the point of a safe, well-policed kingdom when it is too poor to protect itself from certain annihilation? Of course we're gonna lower the budget. Very wise, your majesty. Better to have a city full of criminals than a city full of very dead people. Let us now turn our attention to the rest of today's business. Here is the royal schedule I have prepared. Decide on the castle's decoration, rule on the status of Aurora, and embark on a journey of adventure and exploration. As you can see, you have a busy day in the court, but a tremendously enjoyable one. Decoration is a passion of mine, and I simply cannot wait to see your choice. The interior designers await you in the throne room. Okay, and it's gonna, in, is one of them gonna be River? By any chance? No, probably not. He can't really do anything correctly that's not shooting. All stand to attention for the Queen of Albion. Today you decide on the decor of the castle. Two of Albion's greatest interior designers have come to present their suggestions. You may speak. Your Majesty, I am Herman Worthy, and I have a design in mind that will blow your little royal socks off. Imagine a celestial scheme capable of lifting the shadows that haunt these halls. A fabulous balance of serene hues that announce to the world, I am a strong, virtuous leader. Hear me roar. But also, look how pretty my home is. You are an enlightened queen. Let the heart of your castle be enlightened and? too. Celestial? Serene? Pretty? Do you wish to be known as a ruler or as a fool? I am Sybil Maleficent, your majesty. And I can tell you that people respect what they fear. This castle should be a fortress of dread. I propose that we flood the rooms and corridors with blood, or at least a suitable paint substitute. Let all those who look upon this palace know terror, whether they be your subjects or your enemies. It may seem trivial, but appearances can affect the opinion of the entire kingdom. The choice is yours, your majesty. Blood it is. But make it blood, not some cheap substitute. I wish this to be a fortress of dread. The readers of Castle Design Weekly will be delighted with your intelligent choice. Well, I for one am seriously considering cancelling my subscription. You're all, you're all witches.
Today, you decide on the future of Aurora, Your Majesty. Kaelin will speak for her people. Reva will dispute her cause. You may speak. I am here to seek the protection you promised. It is too long since my people felt safe or knew of life without suffering. We were honored to join your fight to claim Albion. Now it is time we joined your kingdom. Do what your brother failed to do. Help us to rebuild Aurora and protect it as you would your own land. There is nothing so noble as embracing other cultures, and I, for one, could not be happier to count Aurora as part of Albion. But surely they must work for that privilege, and I happen to know just how to put them to good service. There is an abandoned mine in the Auroran desert that holds enough materials to benefit the whole kingdom. Let us employ Kaelin and her people to gather what resources there may be. That can be their payment. You are talking about forced labor. Well, let's not get bogged down in semantics. It's a fair transaction. I know you will not break your oath. You understand what we have been through. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. And the choice is to break the promise. Nah. Aurora will become part of Albion. But they must work for this privilege. The Queen has spoken. Aurora shall be mined for resources. Its people shall receive the protection of the throne in exchange for their labor. You are no better than your brother. He may have left us to die, but you wish only to exploit us. Yes. I'm glad that you noticed. Welcome to the new and improved Aurora, an oasis of friendship, camaraderie, and valuable resources. Visit the city that Reva Industries rebuilt from sand and tour the local mines where you can witness the Aurorans' refreshingly vigorous work ethic. Aurora, a gem glowing in the darkness. A wise decision in court today, Your Majesty. While it is true that your popularity in Aurora has suffered, the people closer to home are not too concerned. This could prove to be a very profitable arrangement. And speaking of Aurora and profits, we may have stumbled upon some very exciting news in that area. Yes. It seems that a group of Albion explorers visiting Aurora have discovered a rare diamond in the desert. They heard the legend of this extraordinary gem from the locals and understandably set out to find it without a moment's regard for their own lives. Which may go some way to explaining why only one of the explorers returned in one piece. He came back empty-handed Speaking of the hideous desert beings protecting the treasure. Yes, Sand Furies. Glory, Majesty, We've met them. The adventure, the romance, the large romance. sums of money we stand to make. The diamond is located in one of the caves beneath the Auroran wasteland, reportedly the site of an ancient abandoned temple. You need only to take it. Of course. So let's just go straight for The promise from. you made to Kaelin is now on the wall with the others. And it's already broken. Like that. Yes. I cannot tell you what joy it brings me to see you let's proudly see make up. at last. I served proudly under your father when he sat on yep, the throne. Yep, we look better without making it more evil. The best of my ability. But becoming... I'm afraid your property was irreparably damaged during the battle. Which one? Oh, never mind. Just checking whether we have something new to do here. I suppose not. Okay, so let's go to Aurora. And I forgot to go over here. It should be unlocked already. Where's Aurora? Oh, over here. Yes, let's go straight there. 
Let's make their lives even more miserable than they were before. And first things first. There's two guards. Ah, come on. Be quiet over there, I'm going to kill a gnome. You seem like a very nice person. I kill nice people, you know. Um good. Okay, where did you find it? In the middle of the road, really? Fine, I guess. I'm wrong. Okay. Because someone did really put too much fault into that. Oh, there it is. I have to get like so. No, got them at this good at. Uh, okay, the wrong way. Honestly, this is the first time doing it all, but usually I'm like, really, really. Hello. Okay, we're gonna get out the. Here. It was strange though. Okay, let's let's take it easy with the chest. Mm. I really wish I had more time to go deal with you. Terrible. So I would have shot you in the face. You have food, you have water. So don't complain. Oh, I'm just at the spot. I haven't been to this part of the town yet. Rubbish. Why can I get up here? I don't remember. Probably there's something to dig out. <laughs> You're funny, but looks aren't everything. Oh. Oh, thank you, Dougie. Get him out one hundred handkerchiefs. Stealing them is an economical alternative to buying them. Stitch, glue, or tape them together, tie a string to each corner, go to the highest place you can find, put two strings in each hand, and then jump off. Note, this activity does pose significant risks, and should not be attempted except under favourable wind conditions. Even then, you'd have to be completely insane. Hmm. No... Unless it was a no that digging spot I don't Thank you. Oh stop it. Please accept my humble thanks for shopping with me. Tattoos. Ooh, like Exotic this. tattoos. The queen Available here. Business. Not you know the best. You have what you want. Give me that. You will not regret it. And we're gonna change straight away because that's the reason. You a suit, one which lends itself perfectly to casting spells. If you didn't unleash massive destruction while wearing this, you'd be missing an opportunity. Right, thanks for reminding me. I forgot to change a spell. Any other business to attend to? Uh, over here. There are new weapons in your armory. There's a new spell. That is a gauntlet, a device which allows a hero to channel magical energies to cast spells. Quite extraordinary. This one. Blades, blades plus shock. Those two do complement each other very Unfortunately, well. we can't try it here. Definitely a step backwards as far as attractiveness. Oh, be quiet, I'm not here to be attractive. I'm here to make your lives miserable, like so. Aurora is for Aurorans. Go back across the sea and leave Not even a chicken is safe. 
I'm glad this is not Zelda. Because I would be corrected painfully. Uh, what did you want? Oh, well, there's no plant. Nah, the heroes of today. You are nothing like the great villains of old. They were butchers who massacred their enemies and their enemies' families and their enemies' families' enemies who were often their friends or their families. What are you then? Sort of evil. <laughs> Yawn. What happened to your kind? You can't commit. Everything's a gray area. No black or white. It's all so dreadfully unimpressive. Why bother being good or evil at all if you're not going to take it all away? Embrace your nature and feed it. Then come back to me when your journey is complete. I may just have something for you. Oh, that's great. <laughs> really love this combination. What we're basically doing with the giant summoning skeletons. Zombies things we're doing. Well. There'll be something as well. Oh, you're not really doing good work yourself, you know that? If I don't show you where the spot is, you're never gonna find it. Oh. Where am I even keeping you? That would have been better. Just random bones scattered in the sand. I think there's something. I, I saw a chest. Run rock, yeah, great. Oh, we're gonna steal all of their things. Hmm. Actually? I think there's a definitive number of things we we'll have in all fable. Nice so maybe I can get but all of their things. Yeah, we're not even gonna let him finish. There is another flower. There are a couple of those in the sands. I keep forgetting about them. <laughs> okay, we're done, we're done. Yeah, but usually you're not... To, I, I don't think you're supposed to fight with them using magic, goddammit. That startled me. Is even one of them in... Okay, she spawned right beneath us. Okay, there's nothing over there. Oh, uh, except for the digging spot. Come on. Dig it up! Flower. You remind me of an old friend. He was a twit, just like you. There he is. Um, come on, come on, you can get it. Thank you. Mm. 
I didn't want to go. I thought I followed your instructions so far. I'm fairly sure you told me to get in here. But okay. As you wish. Our spells are powerful if we it's are uh, able to cast them. To oh really? It's just so wonky to get a proper aim. Okay, what do you have here? The giant diamond, so we can go back home. Not. We have to go to the Sandfall Palace. Where we will be under constant threat from the Sand Furies. No. I decided to ignore you. games when I can play Fable 3. Which resets, I hate it. Oh. It's enough time, but... At aiming and do it on, with controller doesn't have to go. Okay. Let's say it was worth it. That was worth it. For sure. We have 30 keys now and maybe, just maybe we can open that chest we, f we saw in Aurora. Near the place we were uh, treated with water. again yeah okay thank you I think you have to start picking up the flowers or here for the dog to start noticing them Swim over to that island. I'm done. I'm not gonna get bothered by that splash splashing of water. Dang. Was I able to get Yep. It's not always obvious that you can swim under something. Um. Okay, let's get that. And let's get out of the other one while we are at it. Oh, there's the flower. That's what I was looking for. I hate getting back and into the water. Out and into back into the water. It's Slows you down so much for some reason.
Now, they can't jump out of here. But they can run. Okay, now we have six shots. No, nothing. And over here... Oh, look. Ladders have myriad uses. Being of great value if one needs to assault a castle or clean the gutters. However, whatever the task at hand, the climber should take care to ensure the ladder is properly balanced and safely angled. And that a third party is present to spot the climbing. Further, this spotter should be carefully stamped on the outside of the ladder, not underneath, and ideally move the out of the way to the In retrospect, a more apt name for this treatise would have been Dangerous Things Joiner's Mallets. Okay. There's nothing over here. It's so big. Come on, there's gotta be something. No, it's not treasure, so I don't care. Oh, just the Great. Minus I. This is the part I remember the least for some reason. I, think I always sprint through the aurora and the end. Just to be done. No, I don't care. I just wanted to see whether there is a way through those rocks, doggy. I'd like to get to know someone like you and then drown them. Is someone up there? Yep, there he is. Dogs are noble, loyal, and faithful. They're right tasty. I think his voice broke. There shouldn't be two in such proximity. Not a flower. We have one. <laughs> I think we have one of each. No, we have more than one of each. There's six colors in total. Mm. I thought I heard more of those ruses I did. Nope. Oh, my my as well. There it is. The diamond. The diamond. Mm, was there something else to collect? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Uh, it's a key. Mm, and do you decide? Nothing. Okay. Okay, get over here. Okay, they are all dead. And there's more of them. Oh, even more. Okay. Oh, you're a tough one, ain't you? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Honestly, I would have missed it. Thank you for waiting.
We're in no danger, please. Chill out, music. Now we should get out on the higher level. Yep. We've been in this room. There should be a reason. Us. Yep, that's the reason. <laughs> Us to be able to get here. Rare chat. No. Dive! And we can go out of the cave. Hopefully! I think we avoided some of the fight. Fighting. Not all. We'll never be that, that lucky. Okay, they're done. Or not. <laughs> I was smart enough to stand right between those two. No. No. Let's walk around the shifting sands a bit before we get back to Albion. Because there's still some things left to be discovered. Do you want me to go in here and then change your mind? Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Hello, birdie. I think this is the way we used to get away from Walter. So let's get up there. Silver key. That's always serious. Seriously, get up there, please. Thank you. And a silver chest. For ten. Mm. Mm, not that we need gold. We should be able to get down there as well. <gasps> yep. Mm. I don't know why they are so frightening. They scare the hell out of me. Always. Even when I expect them. <laughs> why would you pin my camera that way? That wasn't me. I want to go over here because there's a flower. Three yellow flowers already. There should be one more somewhere over here. Nope. If you're not gonna show me where the flowers are, then I'm not gonna listen to you. You may ask, why are they here? I have no idea. All I know is that there is this group of those birds in here, but why? God damn it. I don't quite remember whether they were guarding something or... Over there. Okay. 
Come on, get up. Have some more of them. Where is that treasure of yours? So we can get. No, we can get to there. Oh, I hate you. Oh, there's even more of them. Great. No run. Always good stuck looking for that one flower that's supposed to be somewhere over here. It's over here. <laughs> ah, one orange. Oh. Didn't you see anything, doggy? Okay, I see something over here. Even and I see even more enemies. Be quiet. Okay? We're gonna we're going to Oh, they saw us. And we just saw another group spawning. I think I missed all, those, all of those shots, so... Let's go that way. Where really are something else? With your aiming skills. This is... Is this the shrine we came out from? Hmm. This will not be open without the key. Okay. I suppose we will get key in some quest. Oh really? You have sharpshooter, really. I didn't know we were playing XCOM. When you can't shoot something, you know, that's right in front of you. Where's the angel? Yes, I'm here. And the... Uh, and Angel didn't get hit once, and this guy didn't... Oh, he didn't get hit, I guess. You are insulting me, really. I think correct myself, this combination of spells is great when you deal with up to three enemies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Any more than that, and the spell go goes down. I don't know why. It deals very high damage. It just doesn't work with more than three enemies around. Unless you have a very long time to, to charge it. 
then you can take on as many in as and as many enemies as you can well I can imagine god damn it it's so hard to say uh, for some reason I wanted to go down there it feels like a trap no okay as you wish Another rare pearl. Let's see what we have on the right hand side. Right. More furies, okay. Buffer furies. With them, we can just charge it all the way you want. And once you cast it, they get close enough. Oh, that's a new one. They get close enough to get hit. Because it takes some time to get ready after we st we're done charging it. So it's perfect for them. No. No. We've been here? I don't think so. Kinda looks like play like, like the ruins we visited, but not entirely no. This door is locked. What? Oh you know I'm not digging up anything. No, it, tell me if you find treasure like this. It's another one. Hmm? Wait, 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 wait. There's another one that I missed. Stop it! Up there, maybe? At least these doors will be open. Oop. Treasure? Oh, indeed. Thank you. I'm finally proving useful. There's lots of them. Well, not as much as I've... There, no, there's lots of them. Please attack those closest to me. Thank you. you want? Okay, nothing. I get it. Yes, I can see you. Another flower. Come on, pick it up. Come on, pick it up. One more yellow. And the fun will begin once I have to find the remaining ones. Yes. No, I don't remember all of their locations. Oh, thank you. That's the last yellow one. 
Enigma. Oh, okay, we can open that. And that's why we won't go in there just yet. If it were up to me, no one would ever get sick. They'd just die, starting with you! My controller started shaking, I don't know what to make it out of it. I can see another flower over there. Soul must be red and freaky. Ooh, my castle is freaky. Whoa, not you. Run. Not this, not this again. Okay, we are onto something and there's more of them. And there's another flower. You'll be so kind to try your best to aim at one at a time. <laughs> or aim at all! I thought there was some letter. Oh, that's another one. And the silver key for trouble. can get through that, so we're going to do a, the Enigma. Fine. Although you're not really doing your job. Look for treasures, for flowers. Not for digging spots. Please. <laughs> nothing? No, nothing. We are really closing in on those flowers. A couple more needed. And here we are. The Enigma. Yes, I see the treasure. Okay, okay, I see. I don't know why this one was hit but wasn't stunned. No, I don't have the flaming spell with me. Okay, dig up. We have to go back to change the spell again. We've seen this kind of puzzle already. Welcome to the sanctuary. Over here. I may swap it. At your disposal. Fireful, fireful, fireball. Last shot. Oh, I didn't expect it to work. Now let's see this one. Are you serious? Oh. 
Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, as you wish. Please stop teleporting like crazy. I see enemies over there. Please be quiet. We're attracting their attention is the least last thing I want to do. Mm. Okay, there was only one. We got on the flip right. If I had a friend like you, I'd Where are you? Oh I guess he's like there because he started talking. Once these doors opened. You should really be quiet. There you are. Nice to sleep. The aim didn't work. Hey, okay, seems there's nothing over here. What? Why do you want to dig something? Because you're not, not gonna give up on that. Are you? After we're done here, we can just teleport out. Those are buttons, aren't they? Not a trap at all. Wait, no, we've been there. I'm lost. <laughs> okay, we just made a circle. Oh, we just made a circle. These door uh, this opened. I guess it was yellow, so do we have to shoot something? This might be far fetched, but best guess I can come up with. We went like this. Then we went through here. This is all lit up. Oh, enigma it is. Give me a second. I'm gonna check it out. Hmm. Fable free, no, not fable and free. The enigma. Silver key, no, our flowers. I think we're done. And keen press pedestal in the middle of the room surrounding this middle pedestal are three colored platforms, red, they and blue. Each of the colored platforms will emit a sound when walking on them. So, yellow. How it works? Blue.
The thing is, it didn't make it sound the first time I walked on it. That's why I was so confused. Maybe I missed it and didn't walk on it properly. Who knows? Yes, I can see. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Did we find everything? <gasps> One gnome left. God damn it. And there's a golden key shifting sands. Actually, I want to go to... Millfields first. Because it seems like we can finally use the bridge we found it so long ago. It seems like an eternity. I know where we are, we just need to get to the lake and we'll be in the good place, yes. But we have to get there first. Of course if you there... give up and beg for mercy, we might just let you live. Oh, I really hope you die in one hit. You are tougher than the Sand Furies. I am amazed. I'm not gonna fight you, I just wanted to make him an example. I'm amazed that even under the threat of death, there are so many mercenaries around this, these parts. There it is, I can see our bridge! Okay, I think there's more of them now that I've lowered the budget for cards. Oh well. The budget is non-existent, but you know what I mean. Hello, soldier. Dear friends, the land you are so charmingly squatting upon now belongs to me, although I love every- Oh really? Every single one of you, you are a filthy eyesore on the landscape, and I must insist that you vacate at once. Uh, daddy bye, my lovers, my loves, River. Man, no, no, I'm not digging up anything. I can forget about that. So let's see who River evicted. Yes, we have two kids, why? <laughs> oh, and I need one to use to open the demon door. We are in the driftwood now. It's really a shame that we don't... That there's no oak fail. In this part. No! <laughs> I refuse, no! Seriously? You have hold this whole place to live and you boo at me? Oh. Terrible. Ever since Reva forced us out of our camp in Millfields, my people have been wandering the coast looking for a home. Those islands over there look like the perfect place for us to settle and live our lives in peace. But they're full of hobs. Somebody should go in there and massacre them. Then we can live our lives in peace. Fine. Wonderful. Let us know when you've got rid of them all. Because what's better speaks of the evil, <laughs> uh, evil queen than extermination of a whole native species? Hmm. Yep. Let's 
see. And don't mind if the trail bro breaks it. That was that kind of thing in here. And by the way, have you seen the spire? The very spire that was built in the second game and that we used in the journey to change the world. Yep, that's it. But you're not gonna see it any close. I tried swimming to it once and... It just doesn't work. Well, that's done. No, 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 they are dead. Don't worry. What we have to do is walk around these islands a bit. Like I said, the trail is breaking. It tries to point us to the every hope encampment here. And there's a silver key in here. In here. No. No. Still no. No! Leave me alone. Can I send you somewhere? So that we can travel in peace and quiet. Can I get up here? No, I don't think so. Not quiet. I have to swim around. Yeah, the sun isn't very helpful either. I have no idea what this is. Mm. Links to? I have no idea. Yeah, but there you may see it. The spire rebuilt. Because as you remember from the second game, we've destroyed it. Or it was destroyed anyway since we've made the wish. And then in the journey, we've used it again and destroyed it again. Okay, you want me to dive? Cool, 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 cool. Where do we go next? Oh, there they are. Yes, skeleton hops counts as well. He's not there. Still, no. <laughs> There's another little island we have there. And there's another island which we can't get to. Friends. Yeah, here's someone here. There are some more hopes. Someone just... I think someone just fell onto my door. Uh, that's normal day. Okay. Guide me to the next encampment, please. We need eight more guild seals as well to upgrade our sword. Wait, wait, I'm seeing some more to here. Uh, I hate you. Okay, there's nothing really. Stop it. I'm more interested in those treasure chests which you could show me.
And yes, I am already lost. <laughs> I have no idea which islands we visit. Oh, I didn't kill everyone here. Oh, I've killed everyone here. Uh, they are over there. Oh. I've been over there and I... Is there anything on the other side? It might be. You can see the pot. Well, we will get there eventually, but not now. Wasn't you? It wasn't you, it was you, right? The islands are just yep. there. I reckon you'll have to swim. Unless you have a boat on you. And done. You've done it! <laughs> now if we turn our caravans upside down, they should float, right? <laughs> yes, I'm sure that will be fine. You can go with that. I guess. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else ah, we can do? Hello. Quest list. Uh, the desert start. Yep. Right, we were supposed to get back. Bright wall. We meet with the gnome guy. <laughs> I don't remember his name. Okay, I... Oh, 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 don't click out of the game, please. Oh, hello, give me that. Thank you. I guess this is the one of... He's one of the two persons that likes us. And they don't know about each other. Just a perfect plan. And even better execution. Um, look like this. Or not. Yeah, 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 we can go. So. Yeah, I think he's down here. Still. Where is he? <gasps> he was killed by the gnomes. Well, he's probably in his house. Chilling. I just sent my letter off to the company. Hopefully they'll know what to do. Here you are. Thanks. Ooh, that was bad. Why am I losing time so much? Okay, never mind. Let's check out the library, because we've collected a couple of new books. Maybe he knows some. Maybe he has something new for us. And then we'll go back to do our duties. No? Oh, right, I'm supposed to put them in. Let's see, nope. Donate. Oh, well done, well done. Another one. Another one. This place for another. Another tome for our collection. I shall enjoy reading it myself later. And I think that's all. Yes, that is all. I suppose we don't have another mission for us. No. Okay, fine. I'm going back to the castle. If you insist. Now we have to wait for Drift to, to build out. <sighs> Yep. Why was it raining inside the castle? You know what? I'm not even gonna get, I'm not asking any questions. It's, it's more beautiful than I dared to imagine. And heavy, too. Our experts estimate it's worth a small fortune. 
Of course, now the question becomes, what do you wish to do with this fine It's stone? mine. Shall I deposit the money from the sale no. into the treasury? Or perhaps you would prefer the funds were channeled into, let us say, a more personal account? Who knew that a Keep roaring money. sand pit could hold such wonders? It's really is big. As you wish. Far be it from me to frown upon a little indiscretion. How many lives would it have saved anyway? I know, right? Say? And that's it for today. And 50 gills so we can finally upgrade our sword. So it's not useless. Well, it's simply worse. The treasury's health is robust. But we must always be wary of unnecessary expenditures and watch out for possible avenues of profit. With that in mind, I would like to discuss the thorny issue of child benefits, which were abolished under your brother's rule. There are vocal elements within the community who are clamoring for us to bring it back. In the interests of the treasury and of the long-term welfare of the people, I have a counter-proposal. It's somewhat radical, but rather brilliant, if you don't mind me saying. We charge people for every child they have. This would keep the population low, but more importantly, the treasury high. I love it. Is it really fair to bring new life into such an uncertain world? And won't that gold go to help the children who have already been born? Mm. Of course, you may also choose to keep Logan's policies. The matter is entirely in your hands. Charge for children. I'm so happy you decided to follow my suggestion. There will be less mouths to feed and more gold to stockpile. A win-win situation. If one ignores the inevitable loss of popularity. Hey, Shall we proceed with the rest of your appointments? Here is the royal agenda for the day. Consider proposal to renovate the Barstone of Shelter and Orphanage. Consider proposal on how to deal with excess sewage in Barstone Industrial. Meet with Paid. Does that. Meet with Paid. As you can see, you have two audiences in the throne room to begin. I've heard rumors that Reaver's latest proposals are both scandalous and delicious. It should be most entertaining. <laughs> so we're going to go straight. To that, we are nearing the end, and hmm. yeah. All stand for the queen. This hearing concerns the future of the Bowerstone Shelter and Orphanage. Paige will speak for the disenfranchised people of the city. Reaver will dispute her cause. You may speak. Your Majesty, the shelter has long been the only refuge for the homeless, the poor, and the orphaned. And until we can change the whole world for the better, it will continue to be their only hope of survival. Isn't it time we held out a helping hand to those who need it most? The shelter is underfunded and the building has fallen into disrepair. Invest in the shelter and orphanage and perhaps we can begin to create a better future for Albion's forgotten people. I could not agree more. The city and its people are in dire need. But it is not charity they require. It is love. I propose we use this dilapidated building to help both them and ourselves. For love and money have always gone hand in hand. Get us inaugurate Bowerstone's first brothel! A brothel? A brothel, bordello, whorehouse. The name is unimportant. What matters is that the people get the love they need. And we get their money. Yes, it's for your majesty to decide. Refurnish the shelter and orphanage. Or convert it into a house of ill repute. Brothel it is. It is time Bowerstone had its first whorehouse. The shelter shall become a brothel. Excellent, Your Majesty. I will see to it immediately. And I'm... Hello, Liz. Immediately. 
This is exploitation, Your Majesty. Your people won't be pleased. They are pleased, as you can hear. Does your heart have a sizable hole that can be filled only with love? Do your pockets jingle with leftover gold? Then Reaver Industries is pleased to present the House of Requited Affection, where money really does guarantee happiness. Today, you will deal with a pressing environmental issue. The disposal of the city's waste. Reva will offer his proposal. A member of the Morningwood community will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, I'm sure you will have noticed a certain aroma permeating the city of late. Even more nauseating than usual. I fear it is not merely the stench of the underprivileged. Bowerstone is beginning to have a serious waste disposal issue. We require an inexpensive and efficient solution, and I believe I have hit upon one. Uh, now, currently, part of our waste is being disposed of in the Morningwood Marsh. With very little effort, Reva Industries could redirect all of the Bowerstone sewer system to flow directly into that region. As you know, it's a desolate place with no financial or cultural value to the kingdom. There could be little discussion as to the logic of this decision. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't right. Not right at all. We're all children of the soil. It's in our hearts. It's in our blood. It's under our fingernails. What I mean is, we're all equal when it comes to dirt, like. From dirt we come to dirt we go, yes? No. We who reside in Morningwood have as good a claim to being clean as anyone. And what of Morningwood itself? Its nature spirits, its woodland elves, and water fairies. Do they not deserve freedom from pollution too? No. Don't destroy paradise with your urban dregs, man. Channel the waste. Be one with the cycle of life. You have all these, like, factories and stuff, don't you? Turn one into a, you know, a, what do you call it? One of those things. A, a sewage reclamation facility. Right on. What shall you decide, Your Majesty? Dump the sewage. Of course, dump it. Morningwood will be granted the honor of receiving the city's sewage. The Queen has spoken. The waste from the city of Bowerstone shall be channeled into Morningwood. I shall begin the flushing immediately, Your Majesty. Oh, this is heavy. This is totally heavy. You've turned Granny Nature into your toilet bowl. Yep. But she'll fight back. You'll see. One day, in like a, a, a thousand years, she'll fight right back, man. There is nothing as important as the health and hygiene of our citizens. As such, Reva Industries is delighted to announce the opening of the Morningwood Sewer Reservoir, eliminating Bowerstone's most pungent pollution. Emptying one's bowels has never been safer, or such a pleasure. The day is almost over, Your Majesty. Only one more appointment left. Yes. Paige has requested a meeting in the Whoa. old rebel headquarters. She's probably going to assassinate us. Dagger. I wonder what she wants. She wants to kill us for not keeping the deal. Okay, but I'm going to do it the fast Welcome way. Because <laughs> I am really lazy. And walking around these maps is not... <sighs> it brings no pleasure or joy, really. It's so tedious. Well, I don't know the... 
I feel like that the Sinking City did it a whole lot better. Sinking City. Well, it was kind of you split into sections of a city that you could use waypoints to f fast travel, but it was it had this sense of continuity. Well, I guess it was easier doing it with a one city in a whole region, but it just feels better. Fable 2 did it better. <laughs> I don't know. It just... I don't like it. The day a queen walked into the rebel headquarters. I thought maybe you'd forgotten where it all started. What do you want, Paige? I don't know if you still care about your people. But since you took the throne, crime has been flourishing. I know. You're starting to have a serious problem on your hands. There's one man in particular. Nigel Ferret. Him again? He's making this city his own. Every criminal in Bowerstone reports to him now. He's too powerful for me to deal with. And he's not easy to find. But I know how you can get to him. Okay, since you're not gonna tell us unless we accept. Kid went undercover with a gang of robbers and found out their plans. They're going to strike the tavern in Bowerstone Market. If you get there in time, you can stop the raid. And at least one of those thugs must know where Ferret is holed up. Ooh. We have to stop. Can I join them? With the robbery? Just asking. No particular reason. Really? Okay, where is he? Hopefully he's not too far away. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Can finally get through. Why are you, why aren't you working? Nah. Boo. Okay, we'll have to deal with them later. No, you can't. No one is able to pay me back. When are we gonna be listening? It's a very strange shortcut, don't you think? I'd like to get to know someone like you and then drown them. It's probably inside. I can help you find what you're looking for. Yes, I know. Pull your head out your ass. If you cooperate, you won't get hurt. But if you give us any trouble, we'll kill you. Now, just so you know we mean business. I'd like one of you to give us trouble, so we can kill him as an example to the rest. Who's it gonna be then? Oh, mm, look, probably me. Volunteer, the Queen, no less. You're How really her, that fellas? stupid. I love killing. All right. Like I think there was someone behind me who shot me. That. 
Just imagine the rest It is no longer advantageous for any of us to frequent the hideout in industrial. Presently, I shall inaugurate a new centre of operations in Barristone Market. You've been provided with a key which will permit access. Please endeavour to prevent its transference to an unauthorised individual. Thank you very much for giving me that. Sometimes I just want someone to talk to. And sometimes I want someone to kick in the crotch. And sometimes I just want to kill you. Wait, what's that? While my accomplices spent I know what game on most of their earnings, I saved every gold coin I could to fulfill my burning ambition of exploring Albion one day and becoming a great adventurer, such as the ones whose stories I'd read in two penny pamphlets and third hand storybooks. More than anything, I wanted to meet heroes, though I knew their heyday had long passed and that the aging ruler of the kingdom was the last. It was the death of this ruler when I was 15 years of age that marked the beginning of a series of tragedies that were to befall my family. First, my eldest brother, Jason, was killed in a duel with an irate farmer who also happened to be the husband of Jason's last sexual conquest. The duel was fought using pitchforks and my brother, who had never done an honest day's work in his life, made the fatal mistake of holding the farming tool the wrong way round. Shortly after this incident, the second eldest, William, was arrested for trying to run a con game by the wrong person, a passing plainclothes towns guard. He was taken to Bowerstone and was never heard of again. Then, my third brother, Quentin, contrived to accumulate enough gambling debts to have a price put on his head. Quentin's death I remember most clearly of all, for I was unfortunate enough to witness it. When the assassins and bounty hunters came to collect his suddenly valuable head, I did what I could to protect him, but no matter how accurate the shots from my rifle, nothing could change the fact that I was shooting peas instead of bullets. I had not yet been able to afford a real weapon. It is no surprise that the next to go was my dear mother. Grief stricken by the loss of three of her children. She left my father a drunken widower, though drunk only when he could afford it, poverty having made his attempts to drown his sorrows all the harder. While I did what I could to help out in his shop, employing all my charm and wit to become a highly persuasive salesman, it was plain that there was never going to be much of a market for novelty toothbrushes in such a small village, and one which had made such a conscious effort to avoid any form of oral hygiene at that. Soon, my father passed away too far more sober than he would have liked. It was then that I resolved to leave Gunk for good and to seek my fortunes and my adventures elsewhere in the kingdom of Albion. And it seems he did it. What did, what did you consider wearing in the morning mood? You again? Yep. It does tend to obviate the entire objective of maintaining a secret hideout if your enemies can simply infiltrate whenever they've the inclination. Lads, perform the specific services for which I employ you expeditiously. Huh? Killer! Fast! I'm gonna hang your head on Oh, okay, I thought they were gonna die in the... One shot right there. Pretty. Oh, the assassins in the bar did. Do you have anything to read? Of course, you don't have anything to read. What a shame. Please hide your weapon so I can read that. My dear Bob, you're a ruthless crook and a big booby as well. And since you are a ruthless crook, I'm not signing this letter so that I can remain anonymous. Ha <laughs> ha. Yours, Arthur. Oh. They kidnapped me. Please let me out. Why would they? See, what do we have here? Is there something we can read? Nope. There is a silver key.
Come on. Thank you. We have to find a golden door. Maybe we... Oh! Could, we could use those underneath the castle. That is, if I didn't use it. I don't remember which I used. I don't remember using one. <laughs> don't know which. I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. I can shoot you through it. Do you know that? In addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person. Oh, got them. Come on, fall down. <laughs> you haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right, you have prevailed, Your Majesty. I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. Oh, I'm you gonna kill you. You have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, Actually, that pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. Let me go free, and the money is yours. As far as I'm concerned, you can stay in there and rot. But that's for the Queen to decide. Exactly. You're out. Good of you to demonstrate such compassion. I shan't be so ill-mannered as to outstay my welcome. Farewell. No, there was a treasure. Why would you do that? Why? I hate you. You have made great strides, Your Majesty. Witness the glory of your treasury. Oh, we are you pretty evil. You swimming in all that gold. Yes. But the kingdom demands your attention once more. The time has come to make a decision on Albion's drinking laws. Under Logan's rule, our citizens are restricted in the amount of alcohol they can purchase per day. As you can imagine, this has proved a rather unpopular measure. And yet many respected members of the community think the law does not go far enough. They would like alcohol consumption wholly abolished among the commoners. They feel, rather reasonably, that it leads to improper behavior and raucous public spectacles. These concerned nobles are willing to pay handsomely for the change in policy. Meanwhile, the commoners themselves would like the restrictions completely lifted claiming they infringe upon their freedom and their rights. You cannot please everyone, Your Majesty, but you must make a decision. Yes, but first of all, I'm gonna take a little break and make some, myself a tea. So, be right back. <laughs> 